Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel, Deb Chanel, 48's World, and I am Deb Chanel. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's a family affair over here today. Yes, and happy holidays. And it's one more day before Christmas Eve, so hopefully y'all have gotten y'all shopping out for your food preparations and you got your gifts under the tree and everybody's just happy as happy can be okay but let's get on into the story yeah we ain't gonna tarry mm -mm. we ain't gonna tarry long i got about two or three more videos to do but yeah this came from a video vlogging site called popularsuperstars.com I don't know how reputable it is, but it was a salacious story, and I kind of see what where they were getting it from from watching last episode that aired on this past Sunday of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, because it seems like they're getting closer and closer to finding out who is the excuse me slithering snake of a woman in their garden of Real Housewives of Atlanta Eden. Okay. Yes, honey. Yes, baby. What I'm hearing on those streets and what I'm getting from this article, just from the title, they're saying that um, Kenya Moore slaps Nene Lee. So, okay, <laughs> now let's just be a little bit more educated on that because if anybody, okay, got slapped. I'm sure you would have heard about it on local news. Okay, Channel 2, Channel 5, Channel 11. These are all broadcasting news stations here in Atlanta, Georgia. Honey, it would have been hit the headline. Then it would have went global. Okay, because these two women are very well known internationally, internationally as well as um, statewide. Okay. So anybody that knows anybody that knows about reality TV shows, knows anything about the Bravo franchise entertainment um, arena, they know about Real Housewives of Atlanta, and they don't. They do know about Kenya Moore and Nene Lee. So okay, but anyway, just not tear her too long. Just going to get into the article. It was written by uh, Amy Rose over there at PopularSuperstars.com. Okay, she titled her article, Real Housewives of Atlanta star, Can You More Slaps Nene Leaks? All right, mm, for calling her an effing itch. All right, mm. that is just salacious, just being reading the headline. <laughs> okay, can you even imagine either one of them women putting hands on one another? And you didn't think an assault charge would have been filed of some sort here in DeKalb County or Fulton County? Okay, yes, it would have. Yes, it would have, honey. Okay, but anyway, let's go on and get into the article and see what she had to write up on this, okay? Because it seems like it's five parts to it. It says, news have reached our desk that Real Housewives of Atlanta uh, star Kenya Moore slapped Nene Leakes, okay, for calling her an effing itch. It was just last season that the show instituted a no-violence policy. And already the Peaches have breached uh, that part of their contract. The two women have been at odds for some time now. And it seems like they're, they've are they reached their boiling point. Okay, and if anything probably should have, would have, could have happened. You know it had to be over Kenya's fake marriage to Mark Daly. Or Mark Daly uh, being in the presence of NeNe Leakes and Greg Leakes. And Miss Kenya didn't know nothing about it. Okay. That's what I'm getting and going with. But we move on to that next page of the article. It says, in the next week's episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta, viewers, that's us, are going to watch as Kenya Moore and Nene Leakes throw hands after getting into a shouting match. All right? And if anybody saw last week's episode or Sunday episode, which was yesterday, they did show some clips that the ladies were like at a hotel suite or whatnot and they were just you know sitting around lounging and what whatnot having a little banter here and there and somehow some uh verbal arguments got in between the ladies and it was mostly being shown that nene and king was really doing the real uh bad arguing going back and forth with one another and i was seeing somebody stuck out their hand i think um uh, Nene was like pointing her hand or maybe I don't know I think it was Nene was trying to get 
her hand in Kenya's face, but more so of like a pointing instrument tool. And Kenya didn't like it, and she slapped Nene's hand. Okay, I'm just saying. So that's I think that's where the alleged slap came from, because I know it wasn't no slapping or no pulling or no hair. Or they would have got that footage. You can best believe that. Okay, because that would have been drama field right there. Kind of like the sort of thing Portia did on Miss Kenya Moore dragged her for film. And I ain't talking about just verbiage. No, she really put her hands on her and dragged her little hair with her and wouldn't let it go okay but anyway let's get back to the article it says in the next week's episode of real housewives of atlanta viewers are going to watch kenya moore and nene leaks throw hands after getting onto a shouting match last season all the peaches contracts included a no violence policy after nene allegedly assaulted a cameraman knocking his teeth out in the process now of course you know they did show us that the back footage after some while and Nene didn't make a couple of appearances uh, on the new season even though she said she was in negotiations of her contract renewal other people felt such as myself that now nah, they were paying her back making her miss those episodes because they do get paid per episode for that cameraman debacle that she got herself into okay but going back to the article, it says, now someone or some people are going to have to answer to the executives. Okay, them the big people. They're the people that cut them checks. All right, Nene and Kenya. But we go into the article. It says, in the preview for the next episode, it appears that Nene was, tra um, she was trying to talk to her former friend, Cynthia Bailey, who didn't want to talk to her. Okay, Kenya being Kenya added her five cents, causing Nene to tell her, Kenya, you shut the F up, itch. Okay, yes, yes, yes. And that's when all the hell broke loose. All right, and I'm like, all right, <laughs> and that's what I'm talking about. Break it down, break it down, break it down, but don't hurt nobody. Okay, war. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing said again. Mm -mm -mm -mm. War. Mm -mm -mm. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing said again. Yeah, honey, we're going to war. All right. But anyway, going back to the article, it said, Kenya threw the comment back at Nene, who proceeded to point her finger. Okay, I knew I had saw that right. Uh, but, uh, Kenya threw the, a comment back. And Nene, who proceeded to point her finger in Kenya's face, a big no-no. Okay, that's in, infringing on Kenya's personal space. She didn't like it. She proceeded like a panther, pouncing, okay? So Kenya slapped Nene's hand out of her face. Excuse me. And both women flew into a rage. And they both had to be held back by security. Now, uh -huh, now y'all know, I've been including that little clip with Kenya in some kind of um, baby blue powder type dress. And then he was in some kind of red outfit. Uh, it wasn't that dress that they were talking about that she had recycled. Uh, not that one, but like I said, it was just what it is, and everybody was trying to catch everybody they could that wanted to throw and touch them hands on them faces, them hairs, them arms, them legs, whatever. But anyway, it said Nene then told producers that Kenya put hands on me, referring to the slap. I'm like, Nene, come on now, baby. <laughs> you had her hand or your finger up in her personal space, almost touching her eyeballs, okay? And Kenya didn't like it. She just brushed it on out the way. Now, did she technically touch you and it was an unwarranted touch? Yes, I get that, baby. But, uh, just a little slap, even though you were infringing in her personal space, that's a reflex type of action. That's not something that go to the uh, big people and say, she put hands on me, I want to file charges, this, that, and the third. No, it wasn't like that cameraman thing and you just kind of swung them around in there allegedly, wink, wink, in your closet and did the one-two punch on them. <laughs> not, not that kind of and excuse me infringement no 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 okay so no we can we can like overlook that we might have to let kenya sit down for a minute maybe half uh give her a point or so uh of what she you know doc will pay a little bit but not that much but she really recognized just infringement all right 
But anyway, going back to the article, that was just my sidebar. Uh, it says, there have already been rumors going around that Nene was fired from the show after she went after one of the show's executive producers, Andy Cohen, after he threw shade at her for wearing the same outfit twice on his show. In a series of Instagram posts, she attached her former friend, and it is rumored that she will not appear in next season. Okay, now that's the new tea. I hadn't heard about it, but I'm like, okay, okay. So, is she making her, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> she making all her pleas and, and, and her pleads and demands because can you put hands on her? Like moved her hand out the way, but not necessarily scratched her like, you know, like a little cat. And her facial area or any parts of her body. And then she didn't really slap you, Nene. Would make you jerk back like that or something to that effect. So, I don't know where you're going with this. I mean, I guess you, if you weren't going to be on the show for season 13, 14, 15, uh, which I can't see. But just for edification, just for argument's sake, you weren't going to be there. Now, you're going to, like, allegedly sue Bravo or something because of the infringement or little altercation that can you um, brush your hand out of the way. I mean, I, hmm. It would have been better just let y'all fight. If that's how you're going to try to end your career on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, or they were going to let you end the career, but then I could see their point of not protecting you and making the environment safe for you, for you to be able to do your work that they hired you for. So, cha 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 cha. You and Kenya ain't nothing but a mess, okay? Y'all ain't nothing but a mess. But like I said, I'm so through with Kenya. It ain't even funny you no know, more. Uh, just how she did Cynthia and she continues to do shit that's just not even worth mentioning. I mean, I'm going to mention it every time I do a video on her, but it's reasoning, it's reasoning that I'm giving and I'm showing you what I'm feeling only because what she's showing me on the TV program itself, okay? But yeah, child, what y'all think about that? Mm, 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 mm. I'm like, Can honey, y'all giving it to us this season. Yes, y'all giving it to us. And Can, I like how you reacted to Kenya's mess. Keep that up, girl. Cynthia, I kind of see you trying to be yourself, even though I don't think it's real. But if you keep going on down the road, it could be believable. Not this year. So we'll see what you give us on season 13, honey. Because I'm pretty sure with this mic engagement and this wedding that y'all may get a spinoff or whatever. You know, like Nene got when she was preparing for her wedding or remarriage to Greg Leeds and how they paid. I'm guessing they paid for it, y'all. I don't know. Maybe you had to put in a little something, too. But, yeah, honey. You got that one with um, what they, Peter Thomas. Now you're getting another one with Mike Hill. I'm tired of Bravo. They're going to stop giving y'all marriage uh, spinoffs or whatever. Because technically, you didn't need another spinoff. Us, us seeing you getting married again, Cynthia. If you want to know the honest truth. You, you could have did something like we see y'all on y'all dating show or something to that effect. Uh, we already saw you get married. I mean, we know you're going to be gorgeous. And it's going to be outlandishly happy. And the, the uh, venue is going to be on point. Because you did a remarkable job when you and Peter got married. And that, ooh, that dress was awesome. Ooh, it was fantabulous, okay? So I don't know how you're going to top yourself with trying to be Mrs. C. Hill. But it is here what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of seeing y'all get married on the show now. Damn, you know, let's, let's go somewhere else. I don't want to see no more babies. I don't want to see no more marriage. I want to see something else. You know, I don't know what it is, which y'all can give me. But think about it. Get to the drawing board, okay? Figure it out. Figure it out. But y'all, that's all I have for this particular video. It was given uh, given to us by popularsuperstars.com. Go check them out. I'm sure they have more salacious stories to feed your appetite. But this is the only one that had came across my media feed. And I thought I took interest and I wanted to read a little bit. I said, but damn, I can't forget about my family over at YouTube. Let me just break it open with them and see what they think. Okay. But uh, again, given... Um, kudos or accolades out to amy rose she was one of the uh staff correspondents over there that wrote the article for popular superstar.com 
Yes, honey, and it was titled um, Real Housewives of Atlanta star Kenya Moore slaps Nene Leakes for calling her an effing itch. Okay, and I'm sure it wasn't just that because they call each other like that, like drinking water. That don't, that don't make no difference. You know, calling somebody a female dog but using those harsh you know, technical terms and stuff but they do that on the regular on the show so it did nah, she had to hit kenya with some real news and it either had to be about mark daly not loving her not liking her or something okay it had to be something about mark daly that would have stuck real heavy and put kenya to want to be like oh okay okay he said that and he told you, I could see her wanting to fight then. And especially with you putting your hands all up in her face like that, girl. Okay. But y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about it. What y'all would have thought it would have did if that happened to you all. Just tell me, honey. Talk about it. Talk about it. Talk about it. All right. And um, continue to subscribe to my channel. Let's blow up together. You know, I love that. And share, share, like my videos. Okay, guys. But I'll see you next video. And um, definitely enjoy your holidays. And keep uh, looking at my videos and sharing them, liking them, and subscribing if you haven't done so. Okay. So we can blow up together, guys. All right. See you next video. Bye-bye.